Hey everybody, welcome back to Truth Be Told. How you doing today? I have, uh, I pray that every single person watching this video would have a revelation on the goodness of God, on the revelation on the power of God, the revelation of who you are in Him today. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you are aware that, see, God supplies everything that we need, but we have to activate it. It says faith without works is dead. Um, there's a lot of people that get that twisted. We get a, I, even at myself, I've fallen many times into a religious mindset. But remember that grace without love is nothing, right? Truth without love is nothing. It says to speak truth in love. Bold, be bold. I'm bold, honey. Everybody knows I'm bold. And I speak the truth of God. And sometimes it can come out like it's condemnation, but it's not. You know, I, I need to watch myself. I need to wait. It says that a smart person knows what to say, but a wise person knows whether or not to say it. There's a time and place, right? I think that the 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 words that speak loudest is your actions, your life. Uh, there's a lot of people giving lip service out here that talk of good talk, that go to church and that read the Bible and know the word of God, but it does not affecting them. It's not, he, they're not allowing it. They're not living by it. They're living by sight and not by faith. So I pray today that you just, before you do anything, you got to look in the mirror, baby. You got to look in the mirror. You have to do a self-check, self-awareness, you know, spiritual inventory, whatever you want to call it, man. We need to be aware. So I pray today that everyone that's watching, including myself and my family, that God would bring awareness to what needs to change, that he would remove anything and everything that stops us, that blocks us from being in his presence, right? I always say that if they're living, us who are living and breathing on this earth could just get a glimpse of what the dead already know, Listen to me. I guarantee there would not be one. I wouldn't even. I'd be out of business. I would not have to make any videos. You know why? Because you would understand. You would have revelation that that this is real, man. That Jesus is coming back soon, and that He's going to judge us all, and that we have to choose where we're going to spend eternity. Yo, eternity is real. This life is nothing but a vapor. <sighs> yeah, I miss it. I pray that you take heed. That this is real, guys. That none of us are going to last forever. That you never know when it's going to be your last day on earth. I'm speaking to somebody. I'm praying over you. But I do not take a chance with your eternity. Surrender to him. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand, guys. I'm serious, man. There's such an urgency in my spirit. I can't explain it with words. So let's live in love. There's nothing that we can do when we're connected and when God is for us, right? It says, if he's for us, who's against us? There's a lot of things that are against us, but it will fail. It will fall short every single time. It will not prosper because the God Almighty, the one that we serve, the one that we are created in the image of, got our backs, okay? I love you guys. I am on, oh my goodness, a Surrender Street and Love Lane. Where you at? Holla.